Welcome to Amber and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Today we're going to talk about lick mats or licky mats, they call them. So Amber got these lick mats here for Christmas in a double pack. We ordered them off of Amazon. They don't seem to have a brand name to them, but this is what they're called here. I will attach the link of the ones we got um, in the description. But these are their nice little licky mats. They come with two. This one has a bit more in-depth things and this one is just little paws. They both have suction cups so they're great for sticking places. Uh, I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about a licky mat if you don't know what they are. Uh, we didn't really know what they are, what they were until we did a little research on them. So a lick mat is a grooved mat that encourages the act of licking, usually made of rubber or silicone, which these are here. And they usually have patterns and textures that create a graze, grazing maze. These textures and patterns help lock food in so that your dog actively licks at their meal or treat, as opposed to normal chomping or gobbling. Some lick mats have suction cups on the back to attach the surfaces like a fridge or a tiled wall. So what you would use to, for the fridge would be maybe ear cleaning, nail clipping, something like that. And for the tiles, you could put on the floor, which we do. You could also put in the bathtub for a puppy, a young puppy, um, to be licking while you're giving them their first bath. So some benefits, else than I've said here, or it, could they, it can alleviate stress. So that's when we use it. We use it when we leave Ember at home, or we did actually the other day with Cole. We left him here by himself. We'd had to take Ember somewhere. So I filled up a licky mat and I stuck it on the kitchen floor. And when I came home, I think more than 95% of it was gone. And um, we actually didn't find any pee that day in the house. So I think he was quite happy with his licky mat and it made him comfortable to stay by himself. It can provide mental stimulation. It can be great for calming or positive reinforcement tool for active acts like nail clipping, ears cleaning, and baths. It can encourage slower eating habits for dogs that gobble or wolf down their food. It create mental stimulation for dogs on restricted exercise. You can also freeze it for hot weather. We've never tried this, hopefully in the summer, because this is our winter licky mats here, but we can try the lick mat in the summer and we can use it for that. So helpful tips. One is that you never leave the lick mat down when you're not there to, to pick it back up for foraging. Now I did leave it for them in the kitchen. Um, so I guess it went against my own rule, uh, but I wouldn't leave it down all the time. So once the dog's finished licking or you get home, you pick it up and you put it away. It's not a toy to be ripped and torn and things like that. Especially with young dogs, I wouldn't leave it with a young puppy, but these guys at one and 10 aren't gonna do any harm for it. Our licky mats here, they do have suction cups. You can hear they stick really nicely to the counter. These lick mats have been used three or four times. I have washed them in the sink and I've also washed them in the dishwasher. I placed them on the bottom rack of my dishwasher. One time this blue one here, I had to take it and scrub it after to get the little bit of residue out even from the dishwasher. So the next time I used this orange one and I scrubbed it first and then I placed it in the dishwasher and it worked just fine and they look like they're brand new, like we've never used them before. So some things to put on your lick mat. So wet dog food, we have this one here. We don't feed wet dog food, but our dogs eat pork or fish or beef. So I bought this one here that's in nature's logic. You can also use peanut butter, which is great, but you have to make sure that it doesn't have any xylitol or any preservatives. So we're gonna use this all natural sea salt um, craft peanut butter. You can buy organic ones, anything like that. But you just have to make sure it has no sweeteners in it. We can, you could also use pumpkin puree. You can use mashed veggies, carrots, sweet potatoes, potatoes. You can use um, any sort of grated carrot, cucumber, raspberry, blueberries. Today we have some cucumber and I grated some carrot on top. And you could use mashed banana, plain Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, cream cheese. I have some cream cheese today, this light cream cheese spread. I'm gonna use it and this pork um, dog food here together. We're gonna do a mat of that. And then I'm gonna do a mat maybe of a little peanut butter and veggies and cheese here. Cheese is another one. I kind of just mush it right in. I could have grated it, but I thought that I would just try the slices, which is what I've done before. You could use meat, any sort of shredded meat. The last mat I made, I used this dog food and I used some ground pork that I had that I boiled on the stove that I topped their dinners off some nights with and I mushed it in. And I also put a little cream cheese and that's what Cole, he thought was delicious. You could try canned fish like sardines, tuna, salmon, sugarless applesauce, bone broth. You could freeze on it. You could use in the summer. Um, if your dog has a bit of a sweet tooth, you could also use honey. So anyways, I'm going to start here. I'm going to make two lick mats and I'll show you that. And then we're going to give Ember one and she can have it. 
and I thought we would clean Cole's ears, see how that goes. He's usually pretty good, but we'll see, maybe it'll distract him enough that he won't even notice me cleaning his ears. Ember could try that too, but we'll just give her a nice lick mat. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just make the orange one, maybe, what do you want, Cole? The blue or the orange, Cole, which is for you? Which one do you think, the blue one? Cole wants the blue one. All right, so we're gonna put the meat up here in the top. So it just kind of spreads in. I leave a little bit of extra on the top just so that it gets them tasting into it, gets them to get the taste and then they can keep. And it's not much, I probably use a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of meat here. What else are we gonna put on a coal? A little cream cheese? Cream cheese or the peanut butter, what do you think? A little bit of both, Cole wants a bit of both. Okay, try not to mix into the human food. The <laughs> dog food that's on it, but here it spreads nicely in. I think I need another knife. Okay, Cole, does it look good? You're licking your lips, Cole? Oh my goodness. All right, I'll leave a little portion down here for the peanut butter. I'm gonna clean my knife. Remember, are you collapsing? This was our new peanut butter and it didn't separate the oil very much. So I turned it upside down and it's looking a little better. I won't put much. I'll just put a little peanut butter at the bottom here. Now, if I wanted it to last longer, I would take this and just slip it in the fridge and lay it on, it's on the bottom here and just let it freeze and then it would last longer. But since we're just gonna do it today, we won't do that. So there's Kohl's, Kohl's is all done. Looking delicious. Now we're gonna do embers. We'll put a bit of peanut butter. Ember doesn't love peanut butter that much, so I'll just do a teeny bit of peanut butter on one side there. And then I think I'll give her a teeny bit of the cream cheese just so that maybe her carrot sticks in it. Just a little carrot, little cream cheese here. I'll put her carrot and her cucumber, squished it in that, and then I'm gonna put cheese on this side. Make a little masterpiece for you, Ember. Want some cheese? I just push the, and squeeze the cheese in and it kind of just fits in the cracks. I think I cut too much cheese. She only needs two little slices here. It fits in. I don't think I'd want to freeze the cheese one, but you can. Cheese is okay to freeze, but I think I'll leave it at that. Ember, you don't need to be. And then I'm gonna take her grated carrot Cole, you don't even like veggies and you're licking your lips. Cole had melon on his beef one the last time, his meaty one. I think the cucumbers, maybe I needed to try grating, but they can fit in the holes here too. Cole has deep concentration. <laughs> good boy. Okay, these look good. We'll get the dogs off the chairs and we'll let them eat here in the kitchen floor and they can show you how they use their lick mats. So here's the lick mat. I'm just going to stick it to the fridge with a little effort. Put a little push. There, it's stuck to the fridge. We'll see if Cole finds it. Come on, Cole. Look, Cole. What's that? Cole, up here. Cole. Cole doesn't know how to eat off the fridge. What's that? So while Cole's doing this, I'm going to flip his ear over. Oh, he noticed. Didn't work so good for him. I'm going to fill his ear. Give it a little rub. We'll see if he stays on his lick mat. Oh, that's a dirty ear right here. Look, look at your lick mat. Okay, we'll try the other ear now and see if he's still... There we go. Amber is leaving because it's ear cleaning time. Should have done the ear cleaning last. Okay, cool. Your lick mat. So when it seems, I think the meat, maybe the peanut butter and the cream cheese would have been better. The meat is crumbling to the floor a little bit. You can see down here. So it's made a bit of a mess, but he can clean that up after. I'll just give his ears a little wipe. This is what we do. We just use paper towel. We put the cleaner in from the vet. And we just give it a little wipe. He hasn't left yet, so that's a pretty good sign. Oh, that's a good boy. Okay, there we go. There, finish your lick mat so Amber can come down. So Cole's almost done here. 
He moved it to the floor. Now he's going to take it with him. This is what we don't want. He still wants to eat. I think I'm going to put it in his crate with him and let him finish it while we get embers out. But he did a pretty good job. He just, this meat is really stuck in, but the peanut butter and the sour cream are so good. Cool. Cool. Come here. Let me see your face. Cool. Look at you. Let's see you. Oh, that's a dirty face. Good boy. Come. Man, we'll just put yours on the floor right there and you can try it. What do you think? Okay, girl. You gonna eat it or no? I'm not gonna clean your ears, no. This is why we don't leave them unattended with their lick mat because Cole has flipped his. There, my daughter just flipped it back over for him. See if you can push it down, hun, and see if it'll stick to the crate better, maybe. Yeah, it's not sticking to his crate. Now, did it stick? See if you can lift it a bit. No, it doesn't stick to the crate. So it sticks to the tile and it's stuck to the fridge and it would, I assume, stick to the hardwood. I think it's because it's plastic. But how's it going, Ember? Are the veggies we haven't touched the veggies yet but the cheese came off lickety split i think i'm just too worried that i'm going to clean her ears but i'm not Good cool okay this is why we take our lick mats away <laughs> cool Kemper, you keep eating. I'm going to take it from Cole because he can't eat it. Cole. Cole, we don't eat the lick mat like that. That's not nice. So, Mommy's going to soak it and put it in the dishwasher, okay? All right. I'm going to put it in here with my... I'm going to give it a little soak. You can see with the water, nicely just cut it out. It hasn't dried at all. So I could probably just put a little soap and clean it like this or just get as much as I can out and then stick it in the dishwasher. Sometimes the peanut butter is going to be a little more the sour cream, a bit harder to come out, but... So we'll leave that, we'll go back to Ember. How you doing, Ember? How's it coming? Did you try the peanut butter? Look what's in there. Look at that. What is it? Now if I'm quick, I'll just slip her. But she's not staying on the lick mat. That's what you want is them to still be licking, but she hasn't left. I'm gonna do both ears really quick. There go, eat your stuff. So she didn't leave, which was good. She liked her lick mat. This is what I use. I buy this at my vet. If anyone's interested in about ear cleaning, I just fill the, fill the ear canal with it and I rub it around and then I'm gonna wipe hers out in a few minutes. I just let it sit and let her finish her lovely lick mat here because she's not gonna like me much. Go. Here, look, peanut butter. You like the peanut butter? No. So what do you guys think of your lick mats? Were they good? Yeah, you just want the meat in it next time. You want me to put a bit of meat in it? I'm just four minutes in and she ate all. I know. I think it, you know, it keeps them busy probably anywhere between five and ten minutes, depending on what you put on it. The blue mat certainly took longer than the orange mat. But I think they like it. Anything to do with food, my dogs love. All right, Cole, what do you think? Maybe we'll pick Ember's mat up in a second and Cole can come out and say his opinion. Cole, what do you think of the lick mat? Should we do them again? You can't eat Ember's though. Here, we'll pick hers up. This one too, like the meat has stuck in deeply. That's all right. What do you guys say? Thank you for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel family channel. We'll be back soon with some more fun with the pups and maybe a real ear cleaning video, but this one at least you can look a little bit how I do that. And these lovely lick mats that you can buy on Amazon. 
we love them and we'll buy some more next year probably or whenever these ones start to look a bit shabby or we need a different texture but thank you again please subscribe take care bye